We can continue, and the first selection will be by Ryan Burnett, the first seat. Ryan, please join me on the stage. Yo, it's going to get a little cringy. I'm not going to lie. This is from um, about a week and a half ago from the draft of the World Boxing Super Series um, 118-pound tournament. There's also going to be the 140-pound tournament. The Cruiserweight tournament just wrapped up with uh, Alexander Usyk winning all four major belts in the Cruiserweight division. And um, George Groves versus uh, Colin Smith is supposed to be taking place on, is it September the 29th or is it September the 28th? I, fe I forgot the exact date in uh, Saudi Arabia. So this tournament is going to start in September, October, um, and it features all the current champions right now in the 118 pound division so in this video we're going to talk about ryan burnett wba um 118 pound champion versus fucking crazy ass you know you got it I mean he's got heart you know nonito donaire who is going back down to 118 pounds he last fought in 118 pounds in october of 2011 july the 31st 2018 right now October of 2011 is the last time he fought at 118 pounds. Remember, his last fight is at his last fight was at 126 against um Carl Frampton. Let's um watch this, and we're going to talk about the fight and talk about the World Boxing Super Series. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. Oh, it's going to get cringy. It's going to get cringy. So just prepare. I'll be back. Brian, welcome. The procedure is the, exactly the same as before. I will ask you, are you ready? You are hopefully ready. And you only when I ask you uh, who your opponent will be, please give me the name of your opponent. OK? Then, so, are you ready? Yes, I'm very ready. Then make your choice. I want to fight Nido Dinner. Ryan, why did you make this select? Um, Nido's been a, an amazing champion. Um, he's a great, great fighter, and I believe that Nido can bring out the best in me, and that's what I'm looking for. Okay, uh, thank you. And. Um... Hunter, tell me please, uh, how you feel yourself? Are you ready to fight? I'm very, very excited. Um, I, I know that Ryan got what it takes, so I'm going to be at my best, guaranteed. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen, and good luck. Our second seat. Completes the World Boxing Super Series Season 2 Bantamweight Quarterfinals. Versus McKay. Weight quarterfinal events. Ryan Burnett versus Nonito Donaire. Naoya Inoue versus Juan Carlos Payano. Zolani Tete versus Mikhail Aloya. Manny Rodriguez versus Jason Maloney. This completes the World Boxing Super Series Season 2 Bantamweight Quarterfinals. This doesn't represent the bracket, by the way. And I wish they would have did it in a bracket format. But let's talk about it. are going to have uh, Ryan Burnett versus Nonito Denair. Um, Naoi Inoue versus uh, uh, Piano. Uh, Tite versus Alonian. Uh, Al 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 Alonian. Damn it. Trust me. Now, listen, no disrespect. But by time, you know, like we're covering these fights during fight week and everything, I'm going to know how to pronounce these names. All right. Now, I'm no casual. I've seen all these guys fight before in some way, shape or form, you know, but Zelani Tite, uh, Lodian, uh, Manuel Rodriguez versus Jason Maloney. And this is not the bracket. So in the second round, for example, you're not going to see the winner of Burnett Donaire versus Inouye uh, Payano. You know, it's kind of mixed up. You know, um, but it's going to be streaming on this service right here called The Zone here in the United States. Um, it's D-A-Z-N, you know, www.dazn.com. 
you know, I don't like this, you know, I don't I don't really like it too much. It just sounds silly to me. But you're going to get a Metro USA card. You're going to get the whole entire World Boxing Super Series tournament, which I've been begging for because th watching the first season was horrible, you know, over here in the United States. You know, even though they came through for um, Cloud TV for um, the uh, Cruiserweight final, still watching the other fights just was, you know, it, it, it wasn't easy. So I'm glad we got somewhere consistently to watch the fights and their cards in the entirety. So right now we don't have any dates or any venues, you know, for any of these fights yet. They're still putting all of this together. But last year it started in September, October, and it was supposed to end in May and June. Right now, as you can see, it's um, the first season has went to September in regards to uh, George Groves versus Colin Smith being in September due to injuries. So we can expect the winner of this tournament to be WBC Tom Diamond champion, which you can consider, you know, you can say they're going to be undisputed champion because, see, you have Ryan Burnett, right? They're going to be unifying their WBA titles at some point in time in this tournament, or they're going to be unified. Emmanuel Rodriguez, Zelani Tite, you know, of course, uh, Payano, um, Maloney, and then you have um, the WBC. I, I got to do some more research on what they're doing with the WBC title, because my understanding is that the WBC title is going to be on the line for the World Boxing Super Series tournament, right? What fight would it be, though? Let me see. What fight would it be? Would it be Rodri? No, wouldn't I, I guess? I don't know. Maybe it's the WBC Diamond. I got to get some more information on that. But moving on to uh, Donaire and uh, Burnett, I got a chance to um, to um, watch some um, Donaire fights in the past. So I am familiar with him as a fighter. And then what I did was uh, last week and the week before, I watched his fights that are available online over again. Here he is right now. Don't let his resume fool you too much in regards to knockout power. 19 and 9 with um 19 and 0 with uh, nine KOs from Northern Northern Ireland. 26 years old, listed at uh five foot four. You know this fight right here was actually on um HBO. In fact, we're going to go look at that highlight real quick just to give you a um, understanding of the fighter. Hold on one minute. I was just watching it. Let's see what is it, Burnett. There we are. Here, let's put this up first. I'll do that. My bad. Zolani Tete versus Mikhail. Like, I don't see him being um, more skillful than Donaire. I just see him being being able to beat Donaire at this point in time for one because of the uh, the weight advantage. Donaire thirty eight and five with uh, twenty four kills, thirty five years old. He was only stopped by um, Nicholas Walters. In, in the Carl Frampton fight, just was looking a shadow of himself. This fight, I heard he didn't look too good in in this uh, fight right here. He's with Richard Schaefer, by the way, which is likely the reason why he's in this tournament. And, um, you know, after he moved up from 118, this is what I was talking about right here. His last fight at um, 118 pounds. And then... You know, he went a hard total of, I believe, it's 16 fights. One, two, three, four. This is when he ran through the 122-pound and um, uh, 22 pound division, by the way. So, one, two, three, four. That Rigondeaux fight, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's been 15 fights since he's fought at the 118 pound division crazy motherfucker man you know but he got you know he's got the heart normally fighters have success moving up in weight but in in moving down in weight especially to weight divisions you know 
at, at this at this stage in his career when he's had so many wars if he were to win you know i mean I, i'm guessing that he's he he's he's in there for the name you know that he is no need to denier, you know former you know pound for pound former unified champion multi-division champion you know i know he's in there for that but at 35 years old moving back down with the wars that he's been in you know i wouldn't be surprised if somebody like uh like ryan burnett stops him even though Donaire is more skillful than Ryan Burnett, Ryan Burnett with that youth, that speed, you know, and and he he he's younger, fresher at that weight. And I'm not saying that Burnett doesn't have any skills. I'm not saying that at all. But I'm saying overall, Donaire has more tricks in his bag. You know. Anyway, when the fight gets announced, the date and everything, we'll do another video. Um, until then, I'm T Street Controversy. Excuse me. This is T Street Controversy Live. Please subscribe. Oh, and also, I'm going to be doing videos, individual videos on each and every one of the fights in the World Boxing Super Series, as well as covering each and every one of them from um, um, post-fight. And also, we're going to be getting to some scattered World Boxing Super Series fights. For example, the uh, Regis Pro Gray fight against Terry Flanagan might end up in um, New Orleans. So, you know, we're looking at things like that. But anyway, please subscribe. I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live.